stars with Here's the thing, I, I'll tell you quite honestly, I feel like I've been on the back foot of taking care of anything uh, of my life, personally, uh, artistically, and a lot of stuff for the last uh, number of months. Um, and uh, it's funny enough, it's funny enough, uh, I mean, here's the thing, uh, I guess it has to do with a lot with uh, mental well-being, and... Uh, I went through a bunch of mental well, uh, non, non well being mental stuff going on for the last several months. Uh, and it's interesting today, I'm going to be streaming uh, a, a game that um, I was approached to do, uh, to do a stream of. I was given the demo code for by a Canadian developer, Canadian company. Uh, and the developer is a, uh, a company from British Columbia. And they, they are a company that is uh, about producing uh, video games that are more than just pure entertainment, that they'll have some kind of um, other underlying messaging and all that stuff. Uh, the game is called Noxia Samana, and it's, uh, it's on Steam. I think you can wishlist it right now. It's just, it's a 2D survival horror kind of game. And I can't quite say it's like, I don't know what the chal how challenging it is of a game. But there's like survival horror elements, I guess, and there's maybe some backtracking. But it's, um, it's like you know, it ha it'll have a lot to do with the mental stresses that we all go through and don't recognize and we don't address, um, like anxiety or um, self doubt, crippling self doubt, or just any number of things. And you know, and it goes along with what I was going through and, and I have been going through for the last six, eight months. Not to like, of course, not to be getting depressed about it because. I truly believe sometimes you have to go through some kind of test and, uh, and go through the fires and uh, to learn things about yourself. And, and um, but you know, like it's it's hard when you're in the middle of it. It's hard stuff um, when you're in the middle of depression or anxiety or self doubt or or just lack of motivation or procrastination or um, just shitting on yourself in general. Um, so it was really interesting. I, I thought it was fascinating that a game company that that's out there that's making uh, games. Uh, that are, you know, more or less addressing not just playing a video game, but also to people's mental well-being. So, I tested the game out a bit, and I was like, okay. So this game uh, might be a little interesting uh, thing. It's, uh, we don't have to play uh, a whole game. I think they've only given us, the demo's only one-third of the game. So, um, we're just going to play it. It's just a, t a cute 2D game. It's not something I didn't normally would ever buy or pursue. Uh, as a game myself, and that'll be totally honest. And it's just a game, though, that there could be somebody out there that might be going through some difficult times, and the game kind of makes, maybe helps you become aware of the, all these stresses that are uh, actually affecting you, and that you know how much they are. Just a lot of the, a lot of it is in inside of our minds, or that we need to seek uh, further assistance, all that stuff. But the game kind of explains it all. Times Blizzard is a fun game to watch. Yeah, I'd love to play it. I'd love to pop into my PS2 and play it. The um, aiming thing wasn't so easy going for me on the PS2 at first, but uh, it was okay. How you doing today, Kyria? How are you? Hope you're doing well. I'm just loading up uh, the game. We're just loading up the demo. Pronoxia Summoner. Summonia. I'm not exactly sure the pronunciation. And again, um, the the, um, the developers of this game, uh, I'm just I'm just trying to recall the name, name of them right off the bat. Give me a second. Is it Reframe Games? Reframe games. Uh, so uh, we'll just give you a little. Uh, let's 
second here. Hmm. There we go. So this here is uh, the company that made made the game called Reframe Games, and um, their whole message and everything is about. Uh, what if digital games could deliberately do more than entertain? And they have uh, mental health resources here at the website. The Canadian Mental Health Association and um, all these other associations, uh, Anxiety BC, Kids Help Phone Line. Um, so, and they, they're partnered with a, a lot of um, uh, people that are all to do. They are award-winning apparently as well. Um, so they've got, they've got a, a bit of a, some credentials here. These are their partners. And um, this is the game that we're going to be playing for them. Because why not do something good? Yeah, and I think it's uh, I think this is a joystick. Okay, press Z to begin. That's an interesting button to choose to press. Okay, so here's a question for everybody. Um, if you feel like it, uh, maybe should I, um, should we face, should we play a challenging game? Apparently there's a challenging game, or should we play a um, not so challenging game? That's the, that's the question that we are, we're going to be presented here. Uh, and if we do play the Nightmare, the complete demo on the Nightmare, uh, complete the demo on not the Nightmare to unlock this field. Nightmare? But Liz, but Liz, just so you know, in Face Your Fears, the easy one that's more accessible, you get to pet the cat. So, I, I don't know. I mean, it's... There's a cat, though, the pet. The pet. Okay, whatever. We'll do, we'll do Nightmare. Let me know if the sound is okay or in everything uh, when we're playing, please. <laughs> the fact that the cat's not in the other option is unfair. Uh, do you want to skip the program? No, play prologue and experience the nightmare in full. Another recluse? Should I read these? Does he have any chance to escape? He's not looked. He's not locked. Uh, what? He's not locked in yet. But can he turn his life around before tonight? I doubt it. Those are just mysterious voices. We don't know who they are. He's waking up. Let's get out of here. I prefer not to be around when you when it when it shows up. Agreed. <laughs> the game just got really scary all of a sudden, and I was wondering why. I don't remember that when I play tested it a little bit briefly. Okay, so there's your character. You got a little guy here. Okay. And we're walking through the rain and the snow and the wetness. These give you a little clue to how to play the game. Prompt will appear the, the objects that are interactable. So, for example, flashlight. Now I got a flashlight. Now I can target the flashlight on. Okay. Flashlight will reduce stress, which is important, but you'll be more visible to enemies. Okay. But I like having little stress. 
So I guess the stresses of the meter on the left there, they, see how there's like a nine? Is a nine. When I turn it on, it goes down. Now we're at zero. Uh, okay, what is this? A lock. The entrance is locked. I should look around for a key or something to force it open. Okay. The interchangeable object prompts will change to a key if you have the item required to use it. So we don't have a key, so it doesn't. It shows the lock symbol. I uh, press open the menu. The menu defaults to the inventory screen, but you can switch tabs to view your collectibles and equipment as well. So that's the menu. So far, all we have is a flashlight. I can then switch up here between my uh, equipment inventory journal. I have zero expectations, zero regrets, zero acceptance, and one other. An old wallet I've held onto for years. I think it was handed down to me from my grandfather. It's definitely starting to show its age. Anyway, the leather is weathered and falling apart. Okay. What's this? Medical kit. Oh, well, look, I'm only at 27 health, so... Can I just use it? I can just use it. Now I'm back to 100 health. Which I got a little life bar meter thing, a little pulsating life bar thing. Right, so let's move forward. Uh, equip consumables in your inventory by pressing the quick slot button. This didn't work for me. I couldn't figure this out. So, it's not working. Uh, press square to attack. Uh, you need to turn your flashlight off to use your melee weapon. The flashlight itself will do next to no damage. So this is pointless doing it like this. Even though it's, it allows you to. You want to switch off your flashlight. Oh, I see. Okay. I got, so I got a little dagger. It's, I mean, it's pretty vicious. There are different types of pickups. White items are typically uh, consumables or key items. Yellow items are collectibles and blue items are equipment. So, uh, white are typically consumables or key items. Okay, yellow items are collectibles and blue items are equipment. So that would make this a consumable or a key item. Okay. I guess we got our, our key. We can go in that, that door now. There's the key symbol. The door's unlocked. The key... I'll discard the key and I don't think it'll need it anymore. How was your stream? Hope you had a good one. Uh, we're playing a little survival horror made by BC Company here in Canada. It is a game that addresses mental health as well as a little bit of fun with survival horror. Um, and we're just getting into it, the demo right now. This is so I'm just basically showing off this demo. Portals will save your progress and restore health. If you die, you will respawn at the last portal you passed. So, okay, so that healed me if I was injured. And then this portal passing it. There's some kind of damage portal here. I feel some sort of energy emitting from it. Maybe uh, making me feel healthy and strong. Okay. Portal itself is too small for me to fit in at the moment, but I can see what it looks like. It looks like a forest on the other side. Weird. Oh, that's, that's a bummer. Sorry to hear about that. That's happened to me before. Oh, wait. What's that? No, wait, wait, wait! What the hell just happened? What the fuck is that? <laughs> wait, wait! <laughs> yeah, I'm running away from this thing. It's called what? Overwhelming anxiety. No way! Get it away from me. Overwhelming anxiety. <laughs> your failure. A stain on your family name. There's no future for you. <laughs> no. Do I really have no future? God, what am I gonna do? I guess run. For now, wait. Oh. I'm assuming I killed that. Oh, yeah, that's hurt it. That's hurting him. What is that? Some, is that like a blade he's shooting up from underneath or something? Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh my god, he's catching up, man! Stop! 
Okay, okay, good, good. You can get me. You're running out of time. Like, why do I feel like I have to speak like Batman for this one? <laughs> Everyone you know and love is going to die. You will be alone. Shit. Tristan. Is it even possible to turn my life around? Oh my god, over overwhelming anxiety is after me. Big time, oh no, wait! <coughs> Whoa! Oh, Jesus! Oh no! <laughs> Needles. Oh shit, he's gonna get me! I'm gonna get too close! Oh no, he's gonna hit me! Oh, I've got so much anxiety! For real! Move! Oh my god, thank god. They'll all just laugh at you. You'll never be accepted for who you are. No! There has to be a way I can be myself, right? Oh shit! Oh my god, I avoided the attack somehow. Come on, buddy. You wanna fight? You wanna fight? Got it. Did I defeat my anxiety? Where is he? He's in his bedroom? Holy shit! It was just a nightmare! But it felt so real. I guess I should talk like that. I should get ready. It's almost time to go to work. <laughs> a landline phone sits on the nightstand next to my bed. Doesn't seem to have any messages though. Man, what a terrible day. We got backed up on orders, but at least I'm almost closing. At least it's almost closing time. Maybe I can finally get some rest. Uh -huh. I feel so tired. I know the feeling, bro. I know the feeling. I'll just close my eyes for a second or two. I think I said that today. But I, I, I deprived myself from doing it. I didn't do it. Huh? Did he seriously fall asleep? Yeah. Tristan! Wake up! Huh? Oh, sorry, I didn't get much sleep last night. I had to power through to finish my history project. Yeah. Hard at work, huh? Did you get it done? Huh? Oh, barely. I rewrote the damn thing like five times, but I think it's alright. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Nice. Well, shit, I gotta head to history class. Hope your project goes well. That teacher is kind of a, of a hard ass. Yeah. <laughs> School is in now? Yeah, I'm heading to class as well. Good luck, dude. Thanks. Hopefully I'll get a passing mark at least. You guys go ahead without me. I, I gotta pack my stuff up. Pack up my stuff. Okay. So let's go look around. Vending machine? Vending machine with snacks in it. Some psychopath specifically designed these so that the chips would get stuck. This is where I was like, is this like, is it religious? <laughs> Thanks, Satan. <laughs> That's a weird bit of writing. Well, Satan was to blame for that. All right, um, there's a portal. Our school cafeteria is infamous for being overpriced. Uh, they have the gall to sell a bag of carrot sticks for six dollars. This is in Canada, don't forget. 
That is outrageous. The food isn't half bad, though. Sign advertising the soup of the day. It's chicken noodle. Hell yeah! Door leads to the kitchen. Students aren't allowed back there, probably to hide all the bodies. Lunch lady always did give me the creeps. Could there be bodies back there? Portal? Another one of those damn portals. Damaged portals. Why is it here? Uh... Am I going in that cafeteria? I thought I just came in it. Oh no, I started right here, right? Okay. <laughs> it's a no smoking sign. It mentions a fine up to $305 and school suspension is punishment for smoking on school property. You think most people just go somewhere else to smoke, but a surprising amount of kids have been caught and fined for smoking on location. There's a student here texting on their phone instead of going to class. He'd probably beat the shit out of me if I bother him, so I'll just leave him alone. I have a few friends in this class, but it's not where I'm going right now. I probably will, uh, shouldn't, probably shouldn't intrude. Poster with a few dates for the 2020 graduating class. There's prom, ceremony itself, and the grad party. I'm sure it won't be interrupted by a global, global pandemic. A map of the world I'm entirely familiar with. Uh, never paid that much attention to geography class, and haven't done much in terms of traveling either. I've only ever left Canada twice in my life. Both times were trips to Florida. <laughs> Going there was the worst mistake of my life! <laughs> oh, shit. A case of trophies and awards for the best of the best. None of these are for me, though. I barely scra scrap. I never scrape by most of the time, despite my parents insisting uh, I was doing good. I wasn't pass passionate about my courses I took anyway. <laughs> Why is it so bad to go to Florida? It's a big deal. That's where all Canadians go to retire. So, as everyone handed in their projects... Oh. You're late again, Tristan. I'm assuming that means you got your project done. Hurry up. Let me take a look at it. I've had a, I had a teacher like this, too. Garbage. What? Come on. You can't honestly think this is acceptable. Do you even proofread this, you troglodyte? Wait a minute. Go home and tell your mom that the teacher called you a troglodyte and then get get him fired. Huh? Well, I tried. Spare me the waterworks. This sorry excuse for a project is just another showcase for your incompetence. Don't you agree, class? <laughs> yeah, how embarrassing. That's like a 50% at best. 50%? Are you kidding me? This gets a big fat F. You might be right. But I worked hard on that. I'm trying to turn my grades around and... Should have tried a bit fucking harder then. Why don't you tell the class how it feels to be such a failure? What the hell's going on here? Don't you get it? Tristan, you're going nowhere in life. You look ambition and talent. You've got, what, you lack ambition and talent. You're a nobody. I'm going to do all of us a favor and put an end to your miserable fucking existence. Oh, hell no. That thing's got scissors in his hands. Holy shit. I gotta get the hell out of here. No fucking kidding. God damn it. I've been running, running for my life here. Oh my god! He just burst through the door and he's coming right at me. Okay, I'm not running him. Whew. He's slow. Let's go over there. Okay. I don't know if he's still gonna keep coming after me, but for fuck, fuck's sake, there he is. 
Well, we uh, certainly don't need to... We don't want to be around that guy. I don't need a haircut. I don't need I'm a haircut smarter. right now. I'm smarter. I'm better. I am better. End of the line. Wait, no! Damn it! Expose heart creature. Why don't you just give up? You're clearly slowing down. You must be so tired. Huh? No. You don't know me. I... I can still turn this around. I... I know I can turn this around. This is just a bad dream. It's just a bad dream? Then why don't you wake up? Wake up. Wake. Up. Huh? Hey, man. Are you alright? You were out of it for a second there. You were muttering shit in your sleep. Huh? Uh, yeah, 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 I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine. Right. I'll let this slide this time. Yeah, sorry. Just clean up and clock out. From now on, save that sleep for bedtime, got it? Huh? Yeah. Got Disappointed! It. <laughs> it's just a dream? <laughs> Everything seems to be in order now. I should get out of I should get out of here, get some sleep. What's this though? A cheap shelf containing supplies, instant mashed potato mix, tongs, racks for holding product, and more. A pair of deep fryers for chicken and the small stop to stove top. The fryer on the left has been broken for months, so we get backed up on orders quite often. Prince, yo, what's up? How are you? A trash bag full of garbage and con uh, congealed grease from the fryer. Working years made me lose my appetite for chicken significantly. <laughs> Prince, are you doing okay? No, no. Prince, 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 hold on a second. Let me, let me do it for you. There, now you don't have to do it. <laughs> Going the wrong way! Where am I supposed to go? Oh. An ad for uh, Tonkstov ramen made with pork broth. A bit too expensive for my taste. An ad for some extremely spicy udon noodles. I don't think I need a stomach ache right now before going to bed. Are you sick or something? Huh? No? Why would you ask? You're as pale as a ghost. Keep your distance. I'm not about to catch the virus. No smoke within eight feet of the building. You can land yourself a fine up to three hundred five dollars if you're caught. Well, it's cheap out in BC. Ultimate Shred Season. How you doing? Nice to see you. Hope you're doing really well. <laughs> Liz, you clipped that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so if I do it in the mirror, centipede will pop out behind you. No fucking way. That's terrifying. <laughs> centipedes are like giant centipedes are fucking terrifying. For real. Oh, Prince, are you. <laughs> wait a second. Kron, wait a second. <laughs> um. Yeah, that whatever works, whatever you want to do, Prince. I don't care. You're the artist. <laughs> but I do need to commission a, a, a centipede, I suppose. You know. Uh. Anyway, okay, we're inside here. And some modern art, I think. I'm 
I don't want to know how big centipedes were that long ago. The centipedes, like now, the, the giant ones that can um, kill snakes. Like the centipedes that you see that it can kill snakes. They're like this big. They're like just, they're nightmares. They're walking nightmares. Imagine it latching onto your, your leg or something. <clears throat> An old computer sits in front of the desk. I don't think it works. There's a note here. It reads as follows. I'm on break. Fuck off. And rude. Oh, shit. Am I going to get eaten? No. You can turn off your light because you're not here. Yeah, that's just... That's just prehistoric Earth for you. Thank God we weren't even invented. <laughs> a Vietnamese centipede as a pet. Super scary. Jesus, God. <laughs> Careful around lights. There's a bunch of broken glass and wiring laying around. Huh? What happened? One of the lights blew, blew, uh, bulbs blew. Whoever wired the building was a psychopath. Did anyone get hurt? Not that I know of. We're all just glad it didn't cause a fire. Now might need to rewire the whole floor, though. Six rattlesnakes? Jesus, God, why? Hey, man, you look awful. Bad night? Oh, well, that's one way to put it. One of the fires broke down, backed up shit ton of orders. Well, that sucks. At least you're not being pursued by eldritch horrors in the Shadow Realm or anything. Oddly specific example, but yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm gonna pass out now. Oh, have a nice rest. You definitely earned it. They could go past him. A coroner's notice is attached to the door. I remember when the police showed up. He had been in a coma for a few days and was found during a wellness check. He was uh, stable in the hospital for a month, but apparently he just spontaneously died one day. Some creepy shit. Will you quit being so loud in the hallway? My kids are trying to sleep. <laughs> Your kids are trying to sleep? Maybe you should stop yelling? Don't you dare tell me what to do. I'll call the landlord and get you evicted for harassment. <laughs> Love that guy. All right, I should probably just leave her alone. Finally. Canned cat food? I know what to do with the cat food. An old game console from the 1980s sits underneath the television. It's gathering a bit of dust, but I still use it from time to time. Foundations of game design were laid down in all, the, all these decades ago. Using such limited hardware. It's beyond impressive to me. Filled up the food bowl. Oh, look, I still get to pet the cat. Yay. Yay, pet the cat. Meow. Where's no meow? Cat's not happy. Meow. That is living on the edge. <laughs> yeah, Miss Magnolia game. 10 out of 10, you can pet the cat. Yeah. Every game should be able to, you should be able to pet your animal. Is that my flashlight again? I'm going to get my flashlight back. What's going on? Whoa, what's going on? Where am I? Huh? 
I'm here again. I recognize this place from my dreams. It's a peaceful forest, enveloped in the gentle breeze. It's my safe place. Somewhere I go to forget about life for a while. Listening to the gentle sound of rain, leaves blowing in the wind, it's peaceful. I should take a walk around, enjoy it before I wake up again. Would I ever get another cat, Prince? Absolutely, but both my cats have been strays. And I think they were just sent to me. So I kind of feel I'm just going to wait it out. Wait to see if something is someone is sent to me. Be a stray. I've asked my other two cats who are, by the way, gigantic lions invisible that always walk beside me. But a third, third one would be cool. There's a large gate blocking this path. Depression that resembles an eye is in the center. Maybe I can find something to open it. I think lucky this game is like, it's like nothing's going to be too far away, I think. Yeah, waiting for one to choose me. Yeah, that's just how it's kind of been in a way. Been very blessed that way. My two beloved cats that, I, that I've had in my life. Both in my life for long periods of time, I guess. And uh, both were wee, kit wee tiny kittens that were just wandering around. You know, there's enough of those that go, that spring up. And if not, then if not, and if I'm if feeling um, uh, financially more secure, because a lot of it has to do with finances, about getting a pet, then I will definitely just go and adopt one. But, uh, I emblem. See? <laughs> it wasn't that hard to, hard to find for this game. The cat distribution system works in mysterious ways. Ours have only taught smoking bad habits. <laughs> I can't believe he turned into such a little brat. How unusual. He looked so... He looked so... Like, just calm and perfect. Who knew he would turn into a little smoky? The emblem fits perfectly into the depression and clicks open. You're in table, terrible danger. Tristan. Huh? What? Who are you? Let's save the introductions for later. You've been drawn into another realm and are being hunted by shadows. If you're unable to escape, you'll never, be, uh, you'll never return to your reality. Your soul will be consumed by creatures of darkness. Do you really expect me to believe this shit? I will prove it to you in time. There's a portal ahead that leads to somewhere safe. I urge you to hurry. I'll explain more once you get there. Good luck. He disappeared. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a kitten. He's a kitten. And I honestly, like, Vegas was kind of the same way a bit. Like, they're just kittens. They're just young teenagers. They're brats. They're teenagers. At, that, at the age you got them at. You gotta be kidding me?
the hopeless one. Oh, another lost soul ensnared in the spider's web. Welcome to hell. The spider's web? What do you mean? We're nothing but insects to those beasts. We're all just waiting to be torn apart and turned into food. It's such a pathetic existence. I've been here for quite some time, and I've seen soul after soul walk past me in search of escape. None of them come back. You and I will die in this hell. The most we can hope for is a swift death. Cheer up, dude. Shop. A shop? Welcome, Tristan. You may call me the guide. You're the one I saw in the forest. You said I'm in danger. Indeed. You're being hunted until you defeat the harvesters that are holding you here. You'll be unable to return to your reality. Harvesters? That's what people call them around here. They're monsters tasked with the hunting down those who are trapped with this in, within this realm and harvesting their souls. Uh, okay. Wait a second. You're saying I'd have to kill them to get out of here? Do I look like a shotgun-wielding space marine to you? Some knight in shining armor? I can't fight for shit, dude. Yes, I know. There's a way to make things easier. Do you see those stone frames behind you? These are the ga these are gateways to places that represent your greatest fears. You can overcome them. If you can overcome them, you'll weaken the harvesters and give yourself a fighting chance. They use these fears of yours as fuel. The more you fear, the stronger they are. Have courage. In time, you can become strong enough to stand up to them. Why should I even trust you? This is absurd. You don't have to trust me, but you don't have much choice either. If you ignore my advice, you'll be dead in an hour. Have some faith. And promise, and I promise you can get out of this unharmed, all right? Uh, fine. I'll go along with this for now. Good. The first portal is open for you now. I'll contact you again once you're, the, once you're in. Good luck. <laughs> Wait. Oh shit. Shit, there's something. Huh? I recognize this place. What is it to you? Uh -huh. It's my old high school. Looks a bit different from how I remember it though. The environment is conjured by the harvester that rules the area. They take place they take places from your past to manipulate you, twisting them into a maze of horrors. You won't be able to rely on your memories of this place to navigate it. You'll need to stay vigilant. You'll encounter the harvester of this realm eventually. It's inevitable that it'll try to stop you. You have a couple of options if it detects you. First off, running away. Escape, escaping it might take some time. Sorry, escaping it might take some time and you'll need to think quickly on your feet. It'll chase you relentlessly. I don't like that. Or you can try to, to fight it. That'll end the harvester's pursuit faster, but it's risky. You won't be able to kill it just yet. But enough persistence 
could incapacitate it for a few seconds. Only attempt it if you're confident in your abilities. Got it? Huh? Got it. I'll leave you to it. Then, good luck and stay safe! Can I go back now? Good. Because so I just realized. Yeah. Herbal tea? Got some herbal tea. Maybe the herbal tea heals me. Some jackass decided to toss a can on the ground here. Have they ever heard of recycling? Lesser monsters can be killed using your weapon. They'll drop items as well as experience shards and coins. Remember, you can use your weapon when your flashlight is off. I'll have to look for a key. Oh, so turn off the flashlight. And then there's a little guy with... He's a little miniature guy with scissors. Hey, what the hell? Wait, wait a second here. Oh my god, he was tough. Can I block? I can't block. There's nothing else I can do. I can only go up one attack. A cup of herbal tea. Somehow able to retain its warmth indefinitely. Drinking it will prevent stress damage and reduce stress buildup for 30 seconds. Look at that. Oh, that's how you put it onto your fast thick thing. Only these items can be put onto the fast thing. Oh. You can return to the hub world using portals. They will um, also save your game when nearby them. So my game is now saved. Is this foreplay for Metal Gear Solid 2? Probably more forward play for the very first Metal Gear. Don't you think, Kemi? Two's a bit advanced. Of a game. No, I'm playing a demo, Kemi. For, uh... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did you get... Oh, my God. This guy's brutal. Wait, you can't... You know what? Buddy, you... it's like you can't... You have to take the hits. My stress is so high, but my flashlight's reducing my stress. <laughs> Metal Gear on NES. Uh, I think um, I think someone got Metal Gear for me. I think Ham bought it for me. Or somebody bought it for me. Somebody got me Metal Gear. For Steam, I think. Uh -huh. What is that thing? Harvesters slaughter their prey in an attempt to collect their souls. However, some souls refuse to give in even after death of their physical bodies. They'll remain here forever. Unless... Unless what? You can take them with you. If you can escape this place with their souls in tow, you could set them free. In exchange, they can offer you their power. They can help you grow f grow stronger to face the harvesters. Uh. What? <laughs> this gets uh, more unbelievable by the minute. Oh. I think it's the any I think it's the OG NES port. Yes, Kron. Dodge through danger safely with a, a well-timed roll. So now you can do shoulder rolls. Oh, for God's sakes. Wait. Soul of Vigor provided health regeneration. What is this? Oh, so we... Is this what we do now? I'm only guessing. Oh, sick. Okay. No attachment to my flashlight? A bomber jacket? I'm wearing it. Okay. Like, no matter what, he gets some strikes in. There's no block. There's no parry. And I'm at 54 health. That's not good. Am I going to find more health? But wait, I came back out of the building. Am I supposed to come out already? 
Wait, but the, the monsters respawn? Wait, did I already do this? Oh, I didn't. What's this? The main door key. I kind of need that. I see, so I can just run away a little bit. And then I'm okay. I got some health out of that. Somehow. Wait, where's the... That's not the door? Oops, went the wrong way. Oh man, is he back? Okay, I've got this. <laughs> I can do this! Let's go to the main door entrance, get healed up. Nice. Now I know I can just dodge him a bit. <laughs> this is a pretty forgiving game. So far. So remember, we're just playing a demo. This is just a demo, by the way. Kemi, I don't know if you're still here or listening. This demo is only one third of the, of the full game. I got bandages. A glimmer of light behind this vent grate. It's a quarter, just barely out of my reach. I could probably grab it if I found something long enough to reach it. So I can't get the quarter, okay. Looks cool. It's, um, the reason why I'm playing it, uh, is because it's more of, um, a game that's, uh, got a little bit more sub substantial in terms of, uh, substance behind it in terms of, uh, not just being just entertainment. It's a game that's exploring it on how to help, um, people navigate, um, mental, mental stresses, anxieties, fears, um, depressions, um, self, uh, self-doubt, all that stuff. Well, this, like I said, this isn't, this wouldn't be normally a choice of game that I would buy. But I like the messaging of the game, and I think it'd be good for, uh, you can give it as gifts or, or give it to people that may be struggling with mental health. Yeah, I've already told you, Kemi, you're, you're very strong and, and, um, a very intelligent, strong, and wonderful young man. You can do anything you want, okay? And Parappa the Rapper. You beat Parappa the Rapper, too. Can you sneak? Do you hear the scissors? The monsters can sense your flashlight, even if you're in a different room. If, if you can hear them, turn the lights off and hide. Soul of security, soul of someone who has lived a secure yet limited life, rarely leaving the place they called home. Their loneliness leads to fears that they would be rejected by the world if they ever left, making them a target of the harvesters. Holy shit, am I being called out? Vastly increased defense while at full health. Jeez, that almost just like, just identified me. Oh man. Why is my heart racing?
Oh, wait a second. What's what's all oh, the because the light, the stress, the light. <gasps> I need the light on. Oh, and if not, I need to take my tea. The tea will help me calm down a bit. Fuck. Oh, wait, I should have done that when I was so hurt. Oh, no. Wow. Your soul remains trapped within the realm of the monsters for forever. What? I died? I, I can't believe it died. Like I learned nothing from this dodge attack move before. You have to do that. It's the only way to survive. Okay, so the deal is, is your anxiety will grow if your flashlight is off. But they've presented this monster with the scissors. Injured student, help me, please. Oh. Like, where is he? My anxiety grows. There it is. Shit. Time pass. Let's turn your mouth. Again, maybe I'll just take the tea. And then I'm gonna actually wait a bit. Scissor blade? Bandages? Scissor blade. A singular blade from a, a pair of scissors can be exchanged in the shop for special items. A quarter of a coin can be used to purchase things. Is that a creature? Oh shit it is! What the fuck? Wait, it's got two attacks! Oh my god! Buddy! It's got two... Wait a second here. Wait, how do you... <laughs> Boo. Am I sucking at this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I 
do these deaths count? Though, do they? Unfair. Well, that's fair. Cumulative. Oh, boy. Like once he once he seems like he's got his eyeball on you, you can't like just run and hide on him. I don't know why the flashlight's not staying on, but I think it's because Stop it. Stop it, Liz. <laughs> I knew it was Liz right away. I'm getting a lot of good stuff. A, sh a large shutter gate blocks way to, to, to be wing. Oh, sh is reading it take up time too? Oh, shit. Wait a minute. How do I? Oh my god. Wait. He's going to find me. Like, what can you do? What can you do? No. No, leave me alone. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. I am better. Stress. Okay, we can stop playing this game soon. Hey, Danny, what's up? How are you? I just popped in a few new blurbs. Just for fun. <sighs> we should have played the easy mode. <laughs> Why didn't we play the easy mode? <laughs> I gave you your no cookies. Cron. <laughs> Oh my god, I want to play Bloodborne again. 
game hurts. It hurts my brain. No, Cerebral Fire. I don't think I've played Pirate Hunter. Is it any good? Oh, maybe I'll ask you differently, uh, in a different way. I've never played Pirate Hunter before. Is it any good? Do I wear a peg leg? Will I have a peg leg? <laughs> That's all I care about. Just give me a peg leg. See, he doesn't see the light that way. Yeah, you know what? I think that's what they're trying to go for. They're trying to go for, like, a clock tower, um... Vibe. For sure. I like the flashlight, um, causing anxiety or not having it on or off. I think that's kind of a very clever situation. It's put me in a few difficult positions already. So I like that. But you, everybody knows how much I don't like a flashlight causing you, like, flashlights running out on you. But this is a little different. So why am I feeling anxiety now? Oh, never mind. I know why I'm feeling anxiety. This thing's coming after me. Oh, oh lordy, lordy. Hoi, hoi. I'm a dying. I'm a dying. He's finding me. Oh, this is too bright in here. Oh my god. Wait. Fuck, I just I died from the stress. Oh, I died from the my heart explodes. Haunting Ground? I haven't played Haunting Ground or Clock Tower. I have Clock Tower... Sort of, I guess. I got it off of, like, you know... Off of, like... Um... Abandonware website. How's the weather today? Fucking cold, Danny. There's snow all over the ground today. Not heavy, not heavy duty, but there's snow all over the ground and everywhere. So a bit, a bit slushy to walk around today, a bit, bit uh, wet to walk around in the snow in Toronto, Canada. Not very great. It's fucking cold. Although I, I, I put a plastic bag in the hole from the for the air conditioner, so now there's no real cold wind coming in. Oh yeah, dude! Last night I, I practically went to bed in clothes. Like I went to bed almost clothed, clothed. <laughs> I, I didn't want to get out of my pajamas. You know what I mean? It's not having it. It was too cold last night. Last night, it was like my heaters weren't even heating. That's how cold it felt. Like the heaters didn't work. Heaters work a little bit today, but if you can't tell, because I got the uh, noise suppression on my on my mic, is that I have the space heater on right now, which is my, why my mouth is so dry, because I'm heating my toes. I'm heating the toes with my space heater, which is like probably just chewing up electricity here. Haunting Ground? Yeah, if I can uh, get it, I'll put it on an emulator one day if I get my emulator up and running. <laughs> Which I never, I never have yet. Why 
Well, I think my next game that I'll be playing of uh, those kind of genres would be uh, Silent Hill 3. Silent Hill 3 is probably the next one. Uh, in terms of like the survival horror kind of games. Like I hope I'm I'm hope I'm like playing a variety of games enough that all of you are really enjoying it. Like it's not just all survival horror, horror, indie horror, 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 but like sometimes you play different games. You know? Like to explore different different games out there. Like um I, I terribly want to play uh Okami. I don't think I ever beat Okami, so I really want to play Okami, and I have the moves to play Okami with, and the fighting system with with Okami, with the moves on the PlayStation Move, on the PS3, was the best fighting way to, the best way to play the game, period, because it was like you had an actual brush. And I think Okami needs to be played. But, you know, I've still got, like, Terminator, I've got Evil Dead games, I've got, I haven't even touched the Grand Theft Autos. Uh, blade game. Uh, I also want to tackle a bunch of the Lord of the Ring games too, which which is going to be just horrible, and so hard. These games are so hard, and I'm the Two Towers and all them like these ones here, Lord of the Rings Two. They're all so hard. The old ones, the old school ones, they're great. Ah, uh, Miss Magnolia, thank you so much. Ever played Gungeon? Gungeon. I think I have, Kron. I think I, ha I think I have. I have I have I have um probably more twin stick shooters than most other streamers, I imagine. I don't know. I just I just really like just bullet hell games, so I, I um I've I've purchased my fair share of bullet hell games. Twin stick shooters. So many. So I think I have Enter the Gundam. Yeah, I have that one. Is in real life the hardest game to play? It is Cerebral Fire. As this game is, is kind of le letting you know, your own anxieties are what's going to kill you, man. That's what I've learned. You know, I'm afraid of the dark too. This is not, this game is just showing me that, that this would happen to me too, that I would... I'd have a difficult time. Um, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed a bit of this game. Um, we'll have one more pass at it, just to take a look at it one more time, but I don't think I'm going to get any further. <clears throat> and like I said, I was doing this as a uh, favor to the uh, developers um, because they asked me and, uh, they, they, they were, they were either lying their faces off to me or extremely flattering, but, uh, they were saying that they had been to a couple of my streams and thought that I, uh, really interacted with the games, pro uh, in an engaging manner and that, that they would like me to play their game. And so I, I took a look at the game and again, um, I think a lot of the, these, this games, maybe potentially this game's proceeds will go to a portion of it. I'm not sure. I didn't ask them. But maybe they'll go towards uh, some of the foundations that are about mental health and mental well-being. So the game is not just a survival horror. It is to do with um, mental stresses and all the other things that I mentioned. Self-doubt, self-loathing. So yeah, if you think you, you, you would, uh, if you know somebody that's younger who would appreciate a game that, that actually speaks to their mind, this doesn't seem like so bad. It's still, I mean, I'm I'm dying. I can't I can't beat the game right now. It's pretty absurd. Absurd. It's absurd. I can't beat this game. So maybe they're providing people with a game. Like, it's actually maybe a game here, you know? So it looks like the the, bag, the big bad guy that comes by kind of just, just destroys your flashlight's ability to turn on.
Got a quarter. Well, fun. So I really don't know what to do here, other than after I fight this guy. Now, this, they said he can, the, the, the creature can see me through walls, but I keep getting into a situation where my anxiety is what's killing me. So, I'm, I, I think we're going to have to wait out the, the bad guy. Always not long that way. <laughs> I think that was a mistake. Uh, oh, okay. Did I get what I was coming for? Okay, so I got the quarter because I had a ruler? I didn't see- I forgot I didn't see I had pulled out a ruler. What's going on here? Expectations, blunt state note. Uh, what's it say? Expectations. A note stained with blood. I recognize it as a page from the project I handed in at the start of the mad of all this madness. Admittedly, it's not my best work. I put it off until the last minute, starting the project the night before it was due. It reads less like an essay and more like the mad ramblings of a sleep-deprived caffeine addict. A part of me wishes I applied myself more. Maybe if I had worked hard, if I had pushed myself beyond my limits, I could have made something great. I guess... It's too late now. No, no chance to redo. I fucked up, and I have to live with it. Espresso? Is that gonna help with stress? Who the hell put a key in this vending machine? There's a tag attached to it that reads Wing B Access Key. It's in a slot that costs a dollar. I don't have that ca much cash on any cash on me, but if I found some change, I could buy it. How much change do I have? I only got three quarters. Yeah, the tea helped my anxiety. The tea helped my anxiety. Is this the key I need? No, we need the key. So I need a quarter. Right? Here he comes again. There's not a lot of room for me to like jump out of him. I have to wait for him to completely go away. What? Huh? Good night, Alvaro. Thank you so much. So there's a box here with a code on it. Interesting. I'm gonna have to... Let him go by. It's too bad we can't see him. Through the wall. 
It sounds like he's already starting to walk away. Extremely potent coffee will increase stamina recharge rate and speed for 60 seconds. Put that on my quick, quick wheel. So we're looking still for another quarter. Well, he's still facing me. What the fuck? I find the other quarter. Where was it? I feel like I checked everywhere. What? He's back? There's nothing else that says... They've... That we have a quarter here. So I'm gonna check all the rooms again. I have two espressos? That'll help me run away from the guy much, much faster, right? Okay, keep a sharp eye. We're looking for another quarter. Damage for brass knuckles that could be exchanged at the shop for special items. Hmm. Fuck, that's a quarter. Do 
dear God, did I guess? Oh. He's going inside doors now? Where's the machine? Where's the machine? It's not here. Where's the goddamn machine? Is there a door at the very end? How's he going in the goddamn doors now, too? I mean, he was smashing it through doors before. This is it, right? Yes. Holy shit. Wait, wait, wait a second. Oh no. Oh, key uh, for the shutter gate restricting access to the school bees wing. It's located, coated with a bit of dried blood. Where was that? Damn it. Where am I supposed to? Oh, here. Finally got past that certain spot. Look at that. Okay, stronger melee weapons will be automatically equipped. Spike ruler. Crude, but it'll work. Hold equipment menu. Okay. So. Oh, man. Oh, it's a big. Oh, damn. That's much better. Energy drink? Oh, bad move. Went underneath the ladder there. Not a good idea. You're doing good so far, but be careful. I sense a strong presence up ahead. It's not the harvester themselves, but a lesser version of them deployed as an attempt to halt your progress. They're underestimating you. So I should just prepare for a fight then? Yeah. Fighting, it won't be easy, but I have a way to, it might be, uh, I have a way we might be able to shift the balance in your favor, so to speak. Have you seen any experience shards? Oh, that's the other guy. <laughs> so have you seen any experience shards? They're small pink crystals filled with positive, uh, positive energy. I think I've picked up a couple of them. Yeah. We can harvest their power to make you stronger. Take a look. Unlock. Double cut before exiting the tutorial. Skill tree navigation. Navigate the skill tree by moving your soul. Interact with the skill to further examine it. Was this my little soul? My little pink soul? Resilience. Anyone waiting for you on the other side will hurt you far more than we will. You cannot be killed if you are above 30 hit points. Oh. Interesting. But I need 450 of the shards to get that one. Athleticism one, I don't know how much longer I can do this. I feel like I'm going nowhere like the walls are closing in. Movement speed increased by 10%. I can afford that one. Oh, but it looks like I need double slash. Hmm. Athleticism 2, movement speed increased by 20%. And enhanced flashlight. Stress is healed 25% faster. Taser gauge. Oh my god, it's 600. And you need a pocket watch and a calm mind. Come on. 
one would be so helpful. Lunge, roll, and press attack to propel yourself forward while attacking. Still can't afford that. Press attack twice uh, uh, allows for a follow-up to your initial swing. Oh, sick. Combat gets a little intense here. Okay, so just a simple... Pressing attack twice allows for a follow-up if you're... Okay. Wait. Is double cut free then? So that gave me double cut. It was double slash I think I needed for the other one. Calm mind. So did that unlock this one here? It says double slash. This is double cut. Uh, hmm. So I'm still holding all those shards. What, did, what was the one I could open up? I think it was this one here. So my movement speed is being increased. Okay, cool. Do you feel any different? Uh. Yeah. I feel like my mind has cleared a bit. Like I'm less stressed out. Good. That'll be enough for now. If you need more upgrades later, come talk to me. For now, try to be strong no matter what awaits you ahead. You can overcome it. Good luck. Ew. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. So we're out of here. So those are the two upgrades I already got. Okay, so he's just here. Is this? Oh, we can go into the shop. Trade offer. I'll give you a unique mint green jacket for some scissor blades. I've got eight of them. I don't think I want to change my shirt color. I'll give you a summon scholar whistle for a lot of scissor blades. Yeah, they need two more. I'll give you a unique yellow jacket for some brass knuckles. Done, my friend. I need my yellow clothes, you know. I'll give you a med kit for some brass knuckles. Oh, don't have that. I just gave away all the way my brass knuckles. Because I need my yellow jacket. <laughs> You're new here, aren't you? How could you tell? It's the lack of fear in your eyes. You clearly don't understand what you're in for. <laughs> this realm ain't friendly to those who don't know how to navigate it. So this is like a straight up rip off of, <laughs> of the merchant in Resident Evil 4. Yeah, I'd probably die if, uh, uh, yeah, I'll probably die if what the guide says is true. I'm not much of a fighter, to be honest with you. Perhaps my services could be of some assistance to you. I sell quality wares that you could aid yourself, aid you in your travels. I'll consider it. Feel free to browse. It's not like you're getting out of here anytime soon, anyways. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yeah, they actually even made his voice the he <laughs> he. Actually, I have one more thing before you leave. You see that board behind you? The one with all the notes pinned to it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, what about it? Those are requests I have for specific wares you might come across in your travels. Oh, okay. Check the board frequently. I can offer some truly unique wares if you bring me what, you, what I need. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, and it looks like 15 blocks of something. School sale, safe codes, a list of codes to the safes without the school, throughout the school. Very good value. Buy it now. 
cat whistle, Greg summons a cat to help you. The tag attached to the key reads, Greg. Wait a minute. I can get a cat to come and help me in this game? Gre Greg the cat? I need to get a cat. I can get more than one cat? I can get Greg twice. No, it only lets me to get the one. Fine, whatever. I'll summon Greg. Thanks a lot. I'll try, okay, so yeah, we already do this. So the question being, um, yeah, I, was there other portals that I can go through? Because I thought I, I did that one already. I did one, but two hasn't opened up, nor has three. Do I go back? Oh. Oh, wait. So this was sort of like, um, a safe room? I came in this one, though. I came up here, right? I think I came up that one. And I saved here. And then we're going up there to the next part of one. Okay. So, um, what are people's thoughts about this so far? What do you think? As a game that has more meaning than just a game by itself so far. I mean, it's starting to, like, sort of open up with a little bit more survival horror stuff. And getting keys, unlocking things, your health, stress. It's cute. It's cute. It's pretty cute. Yeah, it's got some, it's got some sweet design to it, too. Like, you know, the, the graphics are kind of charming. And whatnot. Yeah, and I think the subject matter is pretty interesting too, right? It's not, it's like it's talking directly about people's minds and stuff. Attempt pixel art. Yeah, do attempt it, Miss Magnolia. Do attempt it. Shadow of the Graduate. What a disaster. You've made your life into a complete mockery. Do you really think you have to t you have what it takes to escape this place? You can barely hold a minimum wage job. Now you think you can fight us? Huh? What? Surely I'm not in total hope uh surely I'm not totally hopeless. Maybe I have to get out of here. I can improve my life. You're delusional if you think that's possible at this point. Allow me to grant you, uh, allow me to grant you mercy to end your life before you destroy yourself even further. Wait a second here. Here. Whoa, he's extra angry. Uh, 
Um. Does it too? Okay. Okay, buddy. I know your pattern. Oh shit, not that bad, not that well. Got him! It does, it does tell you what his next attack is? I didn't get him. I didn't see it. We're all by the Canadian flag here. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, I guess they just like trying to, but yeah, it's not meant to be like a really super difficult game, I think. Ellis. I can't wait to get home now that school's out. I can finally live again. <laughs> Unless you're going to summer school. <laughs> hey, I ace pretty much everything. Well, except art class, but that's not important. <laughs> what about you, Tristan? What does your report card say? Uh, huh? uh not sure. Uh, huh? I haven't checked it yet. Heart is being attacked. Halcyon Eyes. How are you, Halcyon? Nice to see you. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. <laughs> How you doing? Thank you so much. Welcome on in, everybody. Everybody with Halcyon. How are you today? My name is Evan. I'm an actor here in Toronto, Canada. I did voice work for Resident Evil 3 Nemesis back in 1999. And um, I play a lot of horror games and a lot of every game. I play every game. I play every game. Hey, Will Walk, what's up? There's no way. Whoa, what were you playing there? What is that? Oh my god. No way. What? No. I would not. I don't want to know what you're playing because I don't want to play that. There's no way. How am I missing that? <laughs> yeah, I, wanna, I don't want to play your game. What is you playing? What were you playing, Halcyon? Ooh, is that the new Prince of Persia? Well, that's. Oh, nice. I think you're in, um, you're in Ubisoft. Um, uh, partner with that, aren't you? Yeah, you got an early copy from Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Very cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's awesome, Halcyon. Halcyon, that's really cool. I have a Prince of Persia Classic on my PS3. But that's like, that's, I, I have Prince of Persia Classic and I have the uh, Prince of Persia HD Trio Collection for the PS3 as well, which I, I think I'm going to play. I'm going to play these before I get to that one. I'm gonna get through. I'm gonna go start going through some Prince of Persia. Too. Yeah. How is it? How are you enjoying it? Someone recommended you play the original one. Really? <laughs> well, you know what? Here's the beautiful thing. Um, Prince of Persia would never have come about if it wasn't for the game Karataka. Karataka. And uh, I have the collector's edition of Karataka that I bought for the PS5. Um, which I'm going to play that kind of breaks down the, the design aspects behind the whole mechanics of the, the movements that they came up with. And they actually did, I think early like animation based on real people jumping and then they just animated by hand and stuff like that. So it's like, it's a hand handmade piece. You don't play uh Metrovania Metrovania. I don't even know why they're called Metrovania style. That's not the that's not the correct term. According to me. According to me. <laughs> that's not the right term from for me. There's older games that had the same mechanics. You know, there's older games with the same mechanics. I just call those platformers. You know, platformer games. Where you where you go from one platform to another platform. Platformer. Very simple. 
<laughs> no, it's just platformer. Um, because it's it gets really complicated when you start adding all those things like the the Metro uh, Vania. Like what what actually is different about it than it being a platformer? Not much. It's what it's got some shooting in it. Well, there was games like that before. Sorry to break it to everybody. Much older games like that, <laughs> and they were not called Metro Vania then. Spiral. I mean, that's the 3D platformer. Yeah. Search action games. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, Bouncy. Uh, like, did anyone, anybody ever play Mission Impossible? You ever played Mission Impossible back on the Atari STE or the or the Commodore sixty four? Anybody? No. <laughs> those games are ancient. <laughs> who's playing those guys with white beards? That's who's playing those games. Guys with white beards. <laughs> Practically my beard, my beard color. But Halcyon, thank you so much. I know you want to go and chill, and do your thing. This uh, developer from BC Canada reached out to me um, to see if I would stream this game that they're making, and it's a company that it makes games that um, have more me have more of a, a meaning behind it than just pure entertainment. And the this game is associated with mental health, and so the game is a survival horror game. In but it's in, inside of it is a uh, um, a dis lots of discussions about stuff that we all go through a lot of times. Um, you know, self-doubt, procrastination, a lot of self-worth and full of anxiety filled uh, situations in our lives. And this game is just actually talking about them and addressing them. And, uh, and it's, it's interesting they, they're, they're, the the game developers are working very closely with the mental health experts and all that stuff. And there's a lot of uh, mental health, um, uh, uh, materials that they provide as well. If you're interested in going to their website, just chilling. Well, we're just playing. This is just a demo. It's not the full game that they sent me. So, um, it's super cute. Housing so far, it's, it's just been pretty cute. And the fact that it's out of BC, Canada, and that, um, it has to do with the Canadian talent, uh, in video game talent, it's, it's, that's why I'm playing it. It's awesome. Being a fellow Canadian, right? I'm just like, that's great. When do you hear about Canadian games that come out? Not very often. Um, because our games usually have to require tons of government funding <laughs> to get made half the time. You know? Yeah, it's been super, it's a super cute game. I think if you're really into to pixel, pixel art games and um, 2D adventures, the game's not too difficult. It's not meant to be it's meant more to be a discussion about mental health. So pretty cool. You learned a lot about that a couple of years ago. <clears throat> yeah, there's it's, it's ongoing for, and it's forever. People are always going to be needing resources and to, um, to figure out stuff about, you know, how your own brain works and how your own mind works and uh, how much we truly, how much we truly are our own enemies um, and that we um, near constantly the chatter in our mind is putting ourselves down and we never stop it. We never get in its way. We never, we would never act like a, 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 a we would never act like one of our personal closest friends would, none of our closest friends would ever want us to hear the things that we say about ourselves in our mind half the time. Um, or our mothers, or mothers would hate them too sometimes. Maybe not all mothers, because some mothers actually are part of the problem. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, in general, I think I think we don't protect our own minds. We don't protect our own self-worth. And we don't invest the time to, re you know, to recognize that a lot of the doubts and the fears and all that stuff in our minds are projections and that they're not real and that we often are just taking over the work of somebody else who said something a number of years ago and you can't let it go. Stuff like that. <laughs> you know, so this game is kind of interesting that way. And we're just playing the demo. I don't know how much longer is left in the game, actually. Well, how is it? 
Huh? Yeah, it's not that bad, but I don't think my parents will be happy about it. Huh? huh? Either way, I can't wait to get to home and relax for once. Mm. Same. Anyways, I gotta go catch my bus. I'll talk to you guys online. You better be there for, for the raid. <laughs> you better be there for the raid. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I'll be there. See ya. <laughs> Are they talking about World of World Warcraft? Huh? Tristan, I actually failed. Oh, he looked at his paper. So he just got his report card. I actually failed. I just have to play it cool. Try not to stress out about it. Huh? I can't let this ruin my summer. Okay, well, so, did I... Where did I get that from? I thought I went up here. Oh, we're back in this hellhole. It's even creepier. It's got eyes all over the wall this time. No! They follow me! No! Get out of here. Creepy eyes on the wall. Lesser shard bundle. <laughs> For sure they list. That's the perfect time to bring that one up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Is something the matter? I defeated that thing, but a part of me feels like they're right. I've done nothing but fail my entire life. I'm a stain on my family's name, an embarrassment. Failure is just part of life. You haven't truly lost as long as you keep pushing forward. You might fail over and over again, but you can learn from those failings. Use that experience to better yourself. Sooner or later, you'll find your way out of the darkness. Huh? I'll think about it. Well, that's a start. One more thing before you go. You should take this. Uh -huh. What is it? A flashlight with a taser attachment. I think it was used by the security around here. I've made some enhancements by removing the safety features. Huh? Oh, well, thanks. I'll put it to good use. I'll take my leave now. I know you can find your way out of this, and I wish you luck. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> okay, so wait. Do I have that security flashlight? Oh, I do. Security flashlight, so the attachment's already on. Okay. Okay. Whoa! Why am I all electrical? Maybe there's a way to short circuit the lock. It doesn't seem very high tech. Holy! F what the? I have to wait for it to charge? But that's a powerful thing I've got. What the hell was that? Did it work? It totally worked. This door is blocked by a wall of failed assignments. No matter how many I remove, I keep re they keep regenerating somehow. Maybe I can find something to burn the pages off? I don't know. No? That's a shard bundle. Door there. Door here. Shit. Shit. He's here too. Impulse, what's up? How are you today? You want the flashlight? I mean, it's pretty powerful. Oh, fucking look at that! I just killed that guy instantly! Expectations, old essay. New entry added. Expectations to 
Uh, okay, there we go. Old essay. An old essay of mine. This one was different. I had started it early, put hours and hours of work into it. I still failed. These kinds of things have always made me doubt myself. Maybe I'm just stupid? Maybe something is wrong with me? I'm genuinely trying, but I feel like I'm on the verge of giving up. There are days I wake up and I can't even bring myself to get out of bed. I just stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything I've fucked up in my life. Sometimes I think to myself, what's the point in continuing to live if I have no future? Those, those thoughts scare me. Impulse, doing good, relaxing before knee surgery. Well, I hope it goes well, Impulse. Hope you get a really good knee surgery. Are they going to make you the six, six million dollar man? Or woman? Or whatever? Everyone? Six million dollar person. <laughs> sure you say that. Are you going to be six million dollar? I mean, listen... I personally think there should be reboots of the six million dollar people. Of course, they'd have to be way more expensive to, these days. Can't be to six million. But good luck with that. Surgery's, I uh, imagine, tough, and um, you need to, you know, take yourself, be gentle with yourself after surgery. But you know what? Work hard. <laughs> I'd be the six trillion dollar man for sure, hundred percent. Okay, b b billion, billion, trillion's a bit too much. No one, they would never put a trillion dollar dollars into one person. Let's just be honest about that. It's not one person that would want a trillion dollars worth of gear and put in them. Okay. So the big bad guy's outside. Why is my flashlight on the ground? It's not my flashlight, it's just a flashlight? Oh. Oh yeah, three hits. Three hits. I think he's in the room here with me. No, the code door. I think I have time, but I don't... There's no other fucking door out here. There's no more door out here, guys. He's gonna come in here. He's gonna find me. Is he? Is this causing me some stress? Drink your tea. Oh my god. Hey, how do I fucking deal with this?
maximum health has been increased. Fuck! No, I- Oh, I thought I blew it. I thought I blew it, but I'm okay. Expectations. Worn scissors. A pair of scissors probably left behind by that monster I saw. The graduate. They called me a failure. Told me I should just give up. Maybe they're right. I'm terrified of the future. My family expects me to go on and do such big things. I wish I could make them proud. But I don't know if I can. I've always wanted to be a game developer. There are days that I'll work feeling great about myself and the things I create. Then a day later, I'll just plunge back into the same damn depression I've been, for, been in for years. I get locked in this cycle over and over again and begin criti critiquing every minute, every minute thing I do. I feel like I'm just pretending to be something I'm not. Like I've burned years and years of my life on this shit that's going nowhere. These feelings are becoming more and more frequent. I'm scared that I might give up entirely. Maybe I just need to push myself harder? Or maybe... I'm just out of my depth. Look at all the F's on the wall. All the damn F's. Time is key. The locker room wall is painted with blood. It reads, time is key. Sounds like a hint to something. Well, the time on the wall says what? What's it say? Is that 5 o'clock? 20 after 5? 5? 5.20? It's 5.20, isn't it? What was that weird game I played yesterday? Which one are you talking about, Lakota? <laughs> what, weird, what weird game was that? Five twenty-five. Time is key. Pretty disappointed that I can't figure that one out. The time seems pretty bl pretty blatantly 525. Anybody else? Which game are you talking about, Lakota? Are you talking about Parappa the Rappa? Are you talking about Kingsfield? Or are you talking... What was the last game I played? Two last games. I'm all about playing weird games, Lakota. That's what we're all here for. Thought maybe it was a four. It doesn't. 
Do you notice even the screen shifting when the, when the flashlight's on or not? So, like, even when you turn off the flashlight, it slowly has this really weird, surreal look to the to the to look at the f screen. It's pretty cool. Oh, that was Kingsfield. That was uh, From Software's one of From Software's first games, like the people who made Elden Ring. That was one of their first games ever back on the PS One back when uh, back in the day. But imagine, imagine From Software has still been around, still here today, producing some of the best games ever made. And that was one of their first games. It's pretty awesome. Using this? If they use that shard? Oh, it did. It gave me shards. Fuel for a fire. A bottle of cooking oil is pretty flammable. It could be used as a fuel for a fire. Was there. Was there somewhere we needed fire? I can't tell what that time says other than 525. But this, this thing does not say 525. I'm just, I'm just like convinced it's one of these. God damn. I can't interact with the clock, no. It's just, I thought the clock, which is so nicely brightly, brightly, uh, brightly lit, is revealing that it's five, but it could be the wrong, t it could be the wrong clock to look at. Oh shit, there's a clock here. Three, three fifteen. Wait. <laughs> Nine forty five. So far, I've got three fifteen and nine forty five. I douse the blockade in oil. It'll be much easier to burn now. The empty bottle is discarded. But do I have anything to light anything on fire with? No. No matches or anything like that. I'm going to try 3.15 and 9.45 as the other two options for that time.
I can't remember the room that it's in, though. Not this one. Fifteen. Maybe the other times don't matter. an easy puzzle considering that I got it <laughs> so I just it wasn't giving me the the timestamps afterwards like so I just I just put in three nine five like the minutes didn't matter No. <laughs> it certainly feels like that. I did it. Whoa, I did it. Yo, I did it. And another save. And another... Oh, progress saved. Tristan, be careful. I can sense the harvester waits for you up ahead. I'd recommend coming back to the Nexus first to prepare for the fight. You've grown stronger, more confident in your abilities. You might be able to defeat it now. But make sure you don't underestimate it. Be on your guard now more than ever. Huh? Got it. You only truly fail when you give up. Believe in yourself. Keep pushing forward. And you can do this. Good luck. Don't think I'm supposed to go this way. Never mind. graduate as hard as you might try and as hard as you push yourself to succeed the result will be the same you will fail again and again so why even bother escaping you want to go back to your rundown apartment 
your family that barely knows you. You wear a mask, pretending like you have a future. Pretending like you can live up to the expectations of those around you. Remove your mask and return to reality. There's no future for you, Tristan. No, you're wrong. I failed, but I won't give up. I know I'll never be perfect, but I don't have to be. I know I can find success in my life if I try, and a monster like you isn't going to get in the way of that. Optimism blinds you to the truth. But have it your way. Come forth and I'll tear the mask from your bloodied corpse. So you know I've got a flashlight taser out? Oh god, the taser start tasing! Gotcha! Wait, 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 where'd you get those free missiles? Yo! Jacks now. Come at me. Sure wish to charge a little faster. That was a mistake. <laughs> I can tell. Well, there they are. I was wondering where they're going to come again. <gasps> I missed. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. What? Oh, Jesus. Wait. Oh, and it missed again! Fuck. What's up, Eris? Gotta be close enough to get him with that. Disappointed! <laughs> huh? Huh? 
Why bother? There's nothing to go back to at this point. I've got a shitty job and a run-down apartment. Even my family doesn't want to see me. I've screwed up everything and I just... I, I don't know how to fix it. I hear you. The cycle of shame you're trapped in, amplified by the voice of failure, can feel like a nightmare. It'll whisper things in your ear to reinforce its message, to keep you caught up in the weight of everyone else's expectations. When those words are repeated over and over again, they'll, they'll become internalized shame. By cutting down these expectations, you can begin to feel like you're in control of your life. I don't know if I can. How do I even start? Start by figuring out the origins of these expectations. Are they expectations you have for yourself? Or are they expectations others have for you? No, they're from my parents. By my age, they, they owned property, had their degrees, and were married. Yet here I am, nothing but a dropout. I'm sure I'll achieve success someday, but I don't think I could rush I should rush things. My parents are disappointed in me. They didn't they didn't think I know uh they think I don't know what I want to be, but I think I do. I think I have a shot at pursuing my dreams. And in the end I know all they want is for me to find success and be happy. Exactly. It'll take hard work. But you've got your own path to forge, to find your own success, whatever that is to you. Uh. And no one can stop me but myself. Uh. <laughs> Coffee uh. break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I think, hey, hey Eric, what's up, man? I think that's the point of the game, though, Coffee Break, is that this stuff, it's gonna, like, this stuff that's in a lot of people's heads and in our heads and all this self-doubt, it's gonna stay there. Unfortunately, getting to the bottom of all the bullshit that's causing you to be a certain way in your life is gonna cost you. It's gonna be painful. Probably. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be digging and finding things you don't want to see and hear. But I think the point of the point of the pro the point of it is, is that as, as scary and discouraging and depressing as that is, that's the path to healing. I guess. Do you know what I mean? Like it's it's hard to heal. It takes work to heal. It's the way it is. I'm not the best in my mental state in my life right now either. A lot of the thoughts that I'm seeing on the screen here are thoughts that are in my head consistently all the time too. Like we all, at least at least I do. I'm an actor, and I'm considered a huge failure to some degree. I didn't become famous. I mean, a little tiny bit famous, but not not famous really. You know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't succeed in the way I, I thought my dreams and ambitions would be. And, you know, and I feel like I'm a complete failure with taking care of my mom, and I like I feel like a failure for so many thousands of reasons. This game's really trying to make you cry. I think it's just. It could be to one of those games that could just be actually good. The heart. It was just a fluke. Do you think this will solve your problems? This changes nothing. You've failed before and you'll fail again. What do you mean? You come to terms with that part of yourself but think for a moment. What happens when you get out of here? If you escape this nightmare, the only thing waiting for you is your awful life. Defeating some dream demons isn't going to make you any less of a fuck-up. I... 
know. You're trying to get in my head, that's all. Trying? You know I'm right. And you... And I know who you are. People like you always end up alone and suffering. If you truly want to escape, go ahead and try. If you're smart, you'll give up. Cease this charade of hope, Tristan. You good, Archimedes? What's up? What's new, man? Hope you're doing well. No, I just gotta focus. I'll go see what the guide wants me to do next. There you go! We made it through the demo! We made it through their demo. Pretty cool. Awesome. Um, I don't know if I've got feedback for them just yet, because there's a lot to digest with it. That's a lot to digest. But, um... That's only apparently one third of the game, so it's not a very, very long game, I imagine. But um, I'm, I'm, you know what, Co you know what, Coffee Break. I'm actually interested to see what's next coming out of it because I quite honestly think that that there's some stuff that was talked about in there that like maybe I need to actually play this game. And as a production values go, pretty cute. Adorable. Music. I mean, this is, this is, hopefully this is all Canadian talent on display. Yeah, you don't see, you don't often see games that go this real on life messages. And I, and I think that's why when I was, re they reached out to me, like, I don't know who's watching me, everybody. I don't know who's watching me. But apparently some people are watching and they they found that you know, my little stream here would be, would be beneficial to play this kind of game for the people that are in here and that know me. And uh yeah, I think I think the the writing is pretty is pretty pretty amazing so far. Yeah, like anti-escapism. I don't know. I I I'm really so far, I, I might give it a good review because um, even just the, the little playthrough that we had here, my, uh, it's actually gotten to my mind a bit, actually. It's making me think about some stuff, right? Final Fantasy Advance has uh, an anti-escapism message, does it, Ham? Um, well, anyway, that's that was... Um, that was a lovely game. 